Tell this rump cloud he can't just want. I was only curious, dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? What were you and the Builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer. You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. That I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The sun and the moon are pulled by two horses across the day and night skies. Skinfaxir and Chemfaxir are their names. And each morning's dew is the fallen slopper from Chemfaxir's foaming mouth. Curious. Thank you, Harvey. So, you asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hoover. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Acid and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft the cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? Make good on your claim, and your contract is fulfilled. I smell bait. What's the trap? No trap. No trickery. Forge me this cord, and you shall be free of my service. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and... A cat's footsteps? And the root of a mountain? How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, Dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world, with lore passed down from Niji and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover. I understand. I will return shortly. Valin, Bivor, Babur, Vombur. Nori, Arn and Annar, I, Mjolvitnir, Bail.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Survey the area, Sudan. Statues. Who put you up here, little cat? So that's how it is. Lead the way, Nimble.
Who knew you could capture a sound? Show me. This looks like the right place. I swear, there is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. What do you see? The seed will not sprout root until I get it into some water. I must retrieve the root for Ivaldi before it takes hold. This is the mountain I seek. There's no higher peak. Let's see what you can make of these, Ivaldi. Aha! I know a cat's footfall. I found everything you asked for. How soon can you finish this unbreakable cord? As soon as it wants to be made. You cannot rush this kind of magic. It flows with a speed all its own. Find me as soon as it's ready. By the way, after we spoke of the Hooger, a cousin came by with his own spirit tale. I don't trust coincidence, so this one's free. What did he say? He told me his sister's husband, Borin, drank a mead brewed in Jotunheim, and it sent his Hooger into a goat. The spirit of a dwarf in the body of a goat? <laughs> Stranger still, his sister didn't even notice. Heavy! Don't drag me into this. The tower is nearly finished. Do not fret. The final hours are ticking down. Not fast enough. I feel the jaws of a trap closing upon me. Knowing you are in a trap, is the first step to avoiding it. You don't care if I'm married off to this builder, do you? 
You are the Queen of Asgard, the host of Folkvanga, the Shepherd of the Slain. Of course I care. Yet you act as if I'm some treasure to be traded about. I was wrong to use you like that. I will confront the Builder and pry the truth out of him. A limp apology, but it will suffice for now. Once the Builder is dealt with, turn your spear on Loki. Every chance he had, he dug us deeper into this mess. If Loki is up to something, I will see to it that he is punished. Blood Oath be damned. See? Quite the tower. Hmm? Not my best work, but it has a certain glow. Now then, where's my queen? You're finished. The tower is functional. One rune remains, which I shall inscribe after I am wet. Who helped you complete the work, Builder? You could not have managed so quickly on your own. Our agreement said nothing about outside help. Now, where is Frey? I am tired of waiting. Outside help. Interesting choice of words. Hail, Harvey! Hail, Builder! We bring you your bride! Freya, my beloved! Why does she leer so wickedly? Starved, Builder. Hungry for you. Eager to consume you like a moist and dainty morsel. Splendid. She'll be pleased to know I have an appetite to match her own. Our union will be a feast of the senses. Enough chatter. We have upheld our end of the bargain. Will you finish your work? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such wild eyes. Why does she look so feral?
Since hearing of your offer, she has not closed her eyes. She fears what she might miss in the abyss of comforting sleep. This is no dream, my love. It is all quite real. Speak and tell me you agree. Quit stalling and kiss her, Dungmeat! Consummate your betrothal! Yes, a kiss. A brief taste to whet my appetite. <clears throat> Delicious! Your lips are two <laughs> pillows on a bed of rain rose petals. And yours are cold and rough as unpolished stone. What trickery is this? There's something wrong. Her voice! It's hideous! I have been told it has a seductive quality. By a wolf. Treachery! Bring me the real fray, or my offer is withdrawn! I'll bring myself, if you don't mind. Freya, you don't need to... You have to. next to nothing, Esir. Only this useless monument to your ineptitude. Uh... You've been a good boy, Thor. Don't gamble your winnings. <clears throat> and you, Havi. You tried to avoid responsibility by not making a choice. But that was a choice in itself. And look where it has brought us. We have taken you for granted, it is true. That ends now. Has this sad spectacle been for my sake alone? I've seen better drama on the festering carcass of a dead pig! Finish your work, or suffer. No Freya, no shield. To hell I am with him, Harvey. I know where he keeps his enchanted paint. Show me. Thor, Tyr, watch our guest closely. Freya, I hope we will have words when this is done. Why do you still wear Freya's form? A reminder of who's at stake. Change back. This is disturbing. Where do we go now? I don't know. I didn't say I was watching him every moment. So you do not know where he kept his supplies? They must be nearby. He never left this area. Mostly never. Footprints. Large footprints. We have found the worm's lair. Are those the builder's pets? Shapeshifters. More deception. The builder will suffer for this. There are goods. There's a door for the ring. Help me smash it. Hold, Loki. We need to talk. This area is off limits. Not what we need. What is it, Harvey? Loki? Did you know this builder before we met him at Heimdall's tower? But did I know him? As in friends? Or know of him. Did you invite him here? I... I did, yes. He rescued my son from Jotunheim, so I agreed to bring him here and help him find work. That's all. Make this right, Loki. 
or the blood oath that binds me is forfeit. For you and your son, is that clear? As a cloudless sky, High One. More deer. Go ahead. I'll watch your back. That's cold comfort. A quiet crossing might be best. Emir's you blood. Die. On your advice, find some way to hinder his efforts, or I will offer you as his price. Our hobby returns. Stay right there, Builder. We're not finished with you. survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buris Balsack! Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoogr makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well, recent. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You gutless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slab had it, son? Their lives were the price of their arrogance.
head from above. Control them! Control them? I only wish to survive them. No turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! Yotam dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've fed it more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <laughs> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Lokistan must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both.
Welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I've been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself, but I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. ...to overcome an inner fear, and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then... I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. And the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? 
There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared.